wrong in the eyes of God. Oops. So I didn't I didn't grow up with any of those things until I got into the military. Did he show you Bible? The Bible was just Mm mm. No. Nope. Just all you Yep. And and going to church, you heard hear the preaching, going to Bible study, hearing the teaching. So you didn't I guess mm-hmm. you know. and all that that so when I got you know, so I went through that 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 period of of um being defiant. I'm a grown man. I'm going to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. But it was more of, I was curious more than anything else. Because mm-hmm. I didn't do all those things. A lot of my buddies did mm-hmm. those, mm-hmm. you know, that I grew up with and went to school with. They did a lot of those things. But I didn't go and do them because I wouldn't allow to. And I knew better. But that, and that only lasted for a period of time. Cause and when you did it, what, what did you expect? What do you think? Oh, well, nothing's gonna happen. When when I when I did when I did drink and whatnot, yeah, mm-hmm. I really didn't think about it. Mm-hmm. I tried not to think what the consequences yeah. would be. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's a, that's what a lot of us do. When we do sin, we just do it. You know, and we just out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. But see, it was never out. I can't. I, can't I, I can honestly say it was never out of mind. That's why I said I, I did my best not to think about the consequences mm-hmm. of it. Because there again, I always thought I would have time to get it right hmm. because of what I was taught growing up. Mm-hmm. So okay, you know, I was taught, you know, God is coming soon. But when I reach that age, it's like okay, I got time to get this right. So I can go out and, and try these things and then I got time to get it right. Did I have a clear understanding that I might not have? No, I didn't. Did I worry about that? Oh, yeah. But see, that's just what I was raised. So getting back into the word or getting back into where I should be in God was mm-hmm. not a hard thing for me to do. Amen. Hmm. Now, see, that's that was one of the um, um, the things that I learned, um, unfortunately, later later in life, and it made me kind of like really sorrowful for my earlier years of being a Christian because it was like. How many people did I, um, I'll just say, leave in my wake um, because of ignorance? Mm-hmm. I'll put it like that, because of ignorance. What do you mean by leaving your wake? Well, you know, like I was telling you, um, when you're looking at, at Romans 1 and you start looking at, like I said, when I start looking at, at um, let's just put verse 28 to verse 32. Right. Uh, when I started looking at those words, I started. Um, I went to the dictionary and 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 looked them up to see what they what they really were, and I saw that in my youth, in my early walk with the Lord, that I insulted and hurt a lot of people, thinking that I was being funny, you know, or or thinking that it was nothing wrong with it. When I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh my goodness, it is something wrong with it. You know? Well, okay. Now, now let's, let's, let's fast forward some. Yes, sir. Now, folks need to look at, look at things like that even as they're walking with God. Okay. You know, a lot of times they think they're being funny, but do they really think about the damage that they're doing? Like I said, No. At, in uh, my I'm ignorance, I'm now I'm not. I, I said, let's fast forward. Oh, we're talking now. Uh-huh. I, I heard you say way back then, right? But now, 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 yesterday's dead and gone, right? But mm-hmm. now, yes, sir. Do we still think before we open our mouth, whether it's joking or or whatever, playing around or whatnot? Do we really think? Of, of if we're, we're we're damaging somebody's spiritual. You don't 
No. Because we need to. We need to. And that's that's a, a big problem. A lot of people they speak before they think. And and even like I I I've, 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 I've told Robin this many times. Listen to understand. Don't listen to respond. Because what we've been tra- what we grew up learning to do is we listen to respond. Or not listen at all. You don't tell me. Well, even if, you know, we say we you know, don't listen, that, but we hear yeah. what the person's saying. So I, I, I hear that all the time. Right. And I don't accept it. Mm-hmm. You know, when people say, you know, I'm not listening. Well, then why are you getting mad? Because you're really listening to what's, what's being said. So I really don't accept that statement from anybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. But, but the truth is, is it's not a true statement. Okay. So well. therefore, now you're lying. <laughs> and if Just you're lying, com- then that's a sin. See, there you go compounding stuff. No, it's not compounding. <laughs> it's fact. It's fact. And I run along, sis. Come on. Now. See? And, and, Amen. And that's when we get to that point where uh-huh. we, start, we start joking and joking and joking. Mm-hmm. And... Taking we it too far. why the person's getting irritated while well, I'm only joking with you. Well, okay, that's that's fine and dandy, but did you take it above and beyond where it becomes a sinful act? Okay. And that sinful act is is now you're you're provoking. Mm-hmm. And what's the Bible say about provoking somebody? It was talking about children. It was, it was talking about the children. Aren't we the children Fathers of God? don't provoke the children. <laughs> Are we the children of God? <laughs> Listen to him. But you yes, understand sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Right. Um, we pastor, in, in Ephesians um, uh, 5, 3 to 7, it says, But fornication and all uncleanliness and covetousness, let let it not be once named among you. Uh, as, Amen. As become saints, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, mm-hmm. what we are, which we are not convenient. But rather that giving, but rather giving thanks. For this we know yet that that no harmonger or no unclean person nor covetous man who who is an idolater have any inheritance in the kingdom of God, of uh, kingdom of Christ and of mm-hmm. God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. But for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon children of disobedience. Be not there for partakers of them. Yeah, the, the jesting, I think. I think. I think jesting can can get um, too much. It can. It can when you start out playing, and then and then other people butt in, and then they start saying stuff, and then they start, you know, getting um, one up on. It says speaking or acting in a joking manner. Uh, some people don't have. What it takes to take it. Mm-hmm. Some people can dish it up, but they can't take it. Right. That's true. <clears throat> and, and That's true. Then, 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 you being a child of God mm-hmm. or being in tune with God should be able to discern that right off exactly, the bat. Exactly. Exactly. And not allow your flesh to to overlook it. Even even to be joking all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Are people laughing with you or are they really laughing at you? Amen. Mm-hmm. And you don't know what kind of mood that per- person is going to be in that well, they're well, digesting that, takes that's, place. That's, that's true can... too. But you know, a person can be in a good mood. But if somebody is always mm-hmm. joking and you, or using them as the the brunt of the joke. Eventually, it ain't funny no more. No, no. Not to that individual. Others might be laughing that that are not there as often. Mm-hmm. But what is it doing to the individual? It's especially spiritually. What is it doing to the individual? Mentally, what is it doing to the individual? See, we don't take these things into consideration no. because everybody's laughing with me. I'm having a good time. If they can't take it, then then they not, need not to be around me. When that, when really the case is, is maybe you done took it too far. Exactly. It might have started off once in a blue moon, but every time the individual's in the room, and that's and you got your your brunt of your jokes is is 
designed and made that way, it's not funny no more. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing <clears throat> now you're doing spiritual damage. Spiritual bullying. Spiritual. There you go. And even in the world, bullying. What does it do to an individual? I mean, people have committed suicide because mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. Fell into depression. Went into drugs, alcohol, just to get you know, close themselves off from the world. You know, they they they'll go to school, they'll go to work, and and put on a facade and try their best to function throughout the day. And how many of them are on all kinds of medication? Just to keep their mind halfway decent. Mm. And what brought all this into play? Mm -hmm. The acts of that individual that, oh, I'm just joking. You, you take life too serious. You, you wear your, your feelings on your cuff. All right, yes, there are some people that, that are like that. That's true enough. Mm -hmm. But we as men and women of God should have a lot more respect for the children of God. And understand that just because we're the life of the party don't mean we have to have to downgrade somebody else to stay the life of the party. Put somebody down to stay the life of the party. Use them as the joke or the brunt of the jokes for the life of the party. Okay. Because, and even if they're sitting there smiling through it, what is it doing on the inside? How, how much of that self esteem are we, are we tearing down? Mm -hmm. When an individual loses self esteem, they lose hope. Hope in themselves, they lose hope in God, and they definitely lost hope in the individual right. that they thought was supposed to be caring for them. Yeah. So now the individual is going through the motions. Now, who's God going to hold accountable for that? We are. Or that person that's doing the joke, that's jesting. They're going to have to answer that. <laughs> that's why it's important to think before we open our mouth. That's right. More times than not. And, and there's nothing wrong with joking and mm -mm. having a good time. Please don't get me wrong. No. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't overdo it. Don't, 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 don't overdo it. Mm -hmm. Don't think just because people are laughing yeah. that, that it's all good. Because mm -hmm. we, we have a tendency to hurt more folks than we help. Now, Brother Pastor, that's what I meant about in my way. You know, um, so many people that I used to kid with, I wasn't being a bully or anything, nothing like that, but just, you know, joking around too much and people get their feelings hurt. And usually I end up fighting or fussing or something. And then, you know, harsh words are said and, and whatnot. But then when I was, um, when I became saved, it was just, it was totally different then. It was like, it was, I guess she was a nervous reaction or something like that because I didn't know what to say because all of a sudden I'm in a different environment of people now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, say something funny, make people laugh. That type of a thing. But you know, I'm going to tell you like, like, like my false mother used to tell me, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Mm -hmm. If you ain't got nothing to say, then don't say nothing. But it's so awkward though because like, a lot of times you, you want to, for? I've been in situations where, where you don't know what to say. Then you don't say nothing. It's hard to sit in silence, for Robin to sit in silence, okay? Be, okay. There you go. Because I said, why? Because you're used to being the life of the party. I won't say the life of the party, no, because okay, it, it wasn't it? that. It was a nervous thing for me. It was like I had to do something in order for people to laugh so that I could kind of like break the ice so then I can move on, you know, that type of That's a thing. That's how it usually starts. Yeah. Then, 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 then maybe you should be praying and asking God well, to give you the rest. Well, to be God. Uh, as long as it's a good, a good time. Yeah, yeah. But it's not always good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. You know, but that's yeah. why I said, that's why when thinking about it, you know, uh, think before.
forward speech, you know, bring in a, you know. But, like okay, but now if you realize that mm -hmm. this is a problem, mm -hmm. then you need to take it to the oh, problem definitely, solver. Definitely. See? Okay? Definitely. Now, if you're not taking it to the problem solver and you're still trying to solve it yourself because this is how I break the ice, this is how I make myself feel more comfortable. Right. Who's, who's working this thing? Mm. Is it you working it or is it God working it? Amen. All right. And if you're working it, mm -hmm. it ain't going to turn out right. Mm. Nine times out of ten, it's not going to turn out right. Somebody's going somebody's gonna to end up walking away not feeling too good. They might be still grinning on the outside, but inside, they want to stop a mud hole in you. Mm. See, these, these are the things we really need to, especially now in the last, in these, in these days, and, and, and we know the time's winding up. We, we want to bring people into the house of God to to help them learn who God really is. Not only is he's a provider, but he's a disciplinarian also. Mm -hmm. not, not only is, is, is he, is, will he raise the dead, but he'll put you there too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> he brought you into this world and kick you out. <laughs> real quick, real quick. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, but... If people say, oh, no, 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 we serve a good, well, yes, we serve a good God. We serve a loving God. But God get fed up. Mm -hmm. Did he not get fed up with the world and flooded? Took everybody out. Of well, it, wasn't, it wasn't mm -hmm. the world. It was the people in the world well, you know and their exactly. dealings. and yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. God got fed up with them. Mm -hmm. How many times was God going to take out the children that, that he just delivered out of Israel? How many times were we going to take yeah. them out? Yeah. And, and Moses stood in the gap for them. Because God was gonna wipe them all out. I start. I can start. I can start all over again. It's a painting I don't like. I, I, I'll paint over it and start all over again, brand new. Mm. That that's that's another reason why it's so important to 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 pray and ask God to to put a hedge around your mind. Jesus, Jesus. To keep the 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 garbage from coming out. Mm. Understand what I'm saying? It's to keep that that you know, cause or put a fence, whatever it may be. But to keep keep what is in there, which is sin, from coming out mm -hmm. in any shape or form or fashion. You know, I remember years ago I had this dream, and it was a dream about a baby. Mm. And it was the prettiest thing. The prettiest something of it. I was protecting this baby with all that was in me. And, and I, had a, I had a preacher, I had a, my son, tell me that I needed, I needed to kill this thing and bury it. And I was upset because, number one, they called it a thing. They wanted me to kill it. And, I, and, and map, now, remember that this is a dream. And as the dream progressed, God showed me this baby what it really was. And it was a demon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So see, we 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 gotta keep those things that are that that are captive captive. God gave us this, the, the power to lock them up for a reason. Have your way, Jesus. And we need to keep them locked Amen. up. Amen. Amen. So when we find ourselves in a place where we're we're trying to do something and it's more us doing it, and God is not in it, everything that we do is mm, men and women of God. Mm. God should be involved in it. At all times. Our conversation, <clears throat> our actions, because if not, sin will abound. Mm. In one shape, form, or another, sin's going to abound. And when sin starts abounding, and especially, you know, <laughs> a lion going to and fro throughout, when a lion's out seeking to devour something, 
it doesn't go tromping through the jungle. Mm -hmm. it, it, it creeps mm -hmm. and it stays undercover. Sin is, is that's, that's sin. Sin creeps. It stays undercover. And it'll stay that way until it, it, it pounces on mm. um, whatever it may, may be pouncing on. And once it, once it captures it, then here comes death. Jesus. Have your way, Lord. So we, we got to be very careful. We got to be, got to be, we got to be always aware. We got to be. And that's why I tell the church all the time, when you get up in the morning, you got to pray. And ask God to guide your footsteps. To, to, to keep you where he's got you. Mm -hmm. To help you to stay there. Put on your whole arm. And you sh we should never take it off. No, that's right. And I've, I've said that before from the pulpit. That's right. Folks need to stop taking off their armor so they can go hang out with, with Sally Sue and, and Shirley and, that's right. that's and, right. and Betty Jo too. You gotta be protected, yes. You know, because they want to fit in. We're not, we, 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 we cannot fit into the world. All right. Once you are baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost, saved, blood washed, you will never fit into the world again. Mm. But yet still, we, we put on all these disguises, these facades, Jesus. to try to fit in, uh, uh, almost like, you know, I, I remember this story a long time ago. The, this preacher was going in and out of bars, <clears throat> and the church started talking about him. He's going in there tipping and drinking, and, and he told the church when, the, when it got back to him, no, I was going in there to be a witness. Well, what does the Bible say about, about your good? Let, the good not be spoken. Let, your, mm -hmm. let not your good be evil spoken mm -hmm. of. Don't put yourself in a position, even though you, you, know, you, you think you're doing right, but did God send you in that bar? And usually drunk people are the biggest preachers there are. <laughs> you get them drunk and they just, whoa. That's when they start talking about the Lord. They sure do, enough, but then. you know, we're, we're talking about saved folks put themselves in situations uh -huh. yeah, yeah. that they shouldn't be putting themselves in. Because mm -hmm. we, we can't fit in. We can't, but Amen. we try to. All we right. We want to be, you know, they, they, you know, they, like at work, they get upset with me because I, I don't go to their little barbecues because they, they sit there and they cuss and they talk about this one yeah. and they tell dirty jokes and I don't want to Mm -hmm. Subject my God that dwells within me to that filth. Mm -hmm. So I don't go. And they get irritated, but you know what? That's on them. Now, if they want to come out and talk to me, that's fine. But I'm not going to put myself in the midst of that right. so I can be a part Amen. of it. Amen. And they even say, oh, you, you're not one of us. Well, no, I'm not one of y'all. Well, it's not so bad. We're just we're just telling jokes. It's all in fun. It's in fun to you, but I know what that'll do to my spirit. Right. right. And I know it's sin. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to let sin enter in here. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. No, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Yeah. Right. Please don't Amen. Get me wrong. Amen. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I don't say I don't slip and fall, but I'm getting back up again. And I've learned from reading about David to be quick to repent. Yes. Jesus, thank I you. learned from reading about Job to stay in the face of God. Amen. Not just praying for those that I love and care about mm -hmm. and my co-workers mm -hmm. and, and people in the stores and whatnot, but to pray for myself. Yes, right. Definitely. You know, we, we done got on this bandwagon where we pray Jesus, for everybody thank you, and Lord. anybody. But how often do we pray for ourselves? All right. Lord, help me to stay straight. Jesus, uh, deliver Jesus. me from this thing thank that's you, got Lord. me down. But no, we, we, we're praying for prosperity. We're praying for healing. We're praying for all this type of stuff. Amen. But are we praying for our own soul? If we don't pray for our own soul, mm. who's going to pray for it? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If we don't keep ourselves before God, who's going to keep us before God? Right. Amen. Amen. We got to do, we got, the Bible says work out your what? Your own salvation with fear and trembling. Well, if I ain't, if I'm not, mm -hmm. you yes. walk out, you can take Amen. a shower, walk outside the door, mm -hmm. and just because the wind's blowing, all that, the dust and dirt, whatnot, sticks Amen. you, you end up dirty. Right. You, can, you don't have to do nothing all day long, 
But go outside, sit up, sit in the yard, enjoy the sunshine, go back in the house, you get in the tub at night and you wonder, why am I so dirty? Right. Because of all the filth that's going around out there. Jesus. Sin is the same way. Thank you, Jesus. Sin will, Thank you, Jesus. will be just Thank like you, their Jesus. particles of dirt. Oh, God. And it's just all over you. Right. In your mind. Mm -hmm. But we got to keep our mind hedged up. You got to keep that helmet of salvation on. Right, right. And that way, when, when we open our mouth, that stuff that, that, that God has given us the power to, to keep locked up, that, 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 that cussing and, and lying back by, don't come out. Do but what will come out is a word from God. All right. An encouragement. Because so Amen. many folks, you know, it, 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 is, it is unfortunate how many church folks live double lives. Triple lives. Oh, yeah. oh. They're one way at work. They're another way when they're out with, with, with their worldly friends. Mm -hmm. And they and when they're around other church folks, mm -hmm. they're another way. Mm -hmm. Then when they're around other church folks that do like they do, they're another way. Mm -hmm. And they're living different lives. Mm -hmm. And we should not be living different lives. The way you are at church is the same way you should be at work. That's true. The same That's way true. you should be in, Amen. Be in the store. Amen. The same way you should Amen. Be Amen. Amen. You know, like um, the brother that stopped here a couple of weeks ago, he, he was testifying that I, I, I saw him in the parking lot. We were going down the street. He wanted me to pull over in the parking lot. And he was going through something. And, and he asked me to pray for him. Well, I reached in my pocket, pulled my oil out, and we was right in the middle of the parking lot praying. Amen. Folks stopped because we were praying so loud. Mm. This is this is the way. We, if we can go out there and cuss and everybody can hear us, <laughs> Without, yeah. or or just talking to the neighbor <laughs> from our street oh. and they're on their street, or they're across the street on their street, and we're right. talking to them, and everybody in the block can hear. Them. All right. Why can't when we're talking about God, we can't we let the world know? Ah. Right. and we don't. Yes, sir. But yet still, we can stand in our, in our window and yell out the window, oh, how you doing? So-and-so, you know, oh, let me tell you about so-and-so. And everybody in the neighborhood <laughs> hearing it. But when we do that, when we're talking about God. Right. Or when we bring him up. Even the guys at work, if, 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 if I'm a minute or two, you know, because we're supposed to be in the, in the shop ready for the meeting at seven. If I'm a minute or two late, I come walking in, and their thing is, yeah, he was at a church. That's why he late. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Because they know I was over there praying. But see, you you got to learn, though, that that could be something that they could use against you to terminate you, too. But see, they can't use that against me to terminate me. But you're being late, is what I'm saying. A minute or two compared to some of them other guys coming in. Five, ten minutes late, ain't nothing. All right, remember your military thing. UA is UA. UA is UA. This ain't this ain't One minute, ten this minutes. Ain't, this ain't military. It's the same. It ain't, no, it ain't the same. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're either. supposed to clock in at a certain time. That's what time you're supposed to clock in. <laughs> no. You see, you don't went overboard with the <laughs> You see? And, and we're talking once in a while. We're not talking every morning. Right. See, see she don't went... Way out in left field. All right, go on. Miss your shit. talking once in a while. But anyway, they, they know. Okay, this is where he's at. And do my supervisor have a problem with that? No. Does he have a problem with the mother guys coming in late because they just left home late or they just out there smoking and whatnot? He has a problem with that. Mm hmm Amen. So see, there, there's a difference. Yeah. Because I'm going to let my God show. He's going to shine bright in any situation. Even when I, I ain't feeling good. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, we got to do that. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Anyway. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Where, where were we? <laughs> we was in Acts. Until I, until we start talking about Romans one, but I mean I'm sorry, but no, 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 don't be sorry. Yeah.
So the last part of it is here where it was talking about, um, um, let's see, let me bring it down. We have found that the apostles preached the following salvation message. Okay, which it says, uh, we have found that the apostles preached the following salvation message. The life of Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection. Repentance towards God and belief in Jesus Christ as Savior. Baptism in water by immersion in Jesus' name. Receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost which was accompanied by the initial evidence of speaking with other tongues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Maybe next week we'll finish <laughs> this book. <laughs> we only got a page and a half left. Well, two pages. It's just really comments now. Yeah. 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 But let's next week let's let's um let's recap what we've talked about throughout this um in, in, into his marvelous life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Amen. Yeah, we'll recap on the whole thing since we, we broke it up into so long to get through it. Do like a refresher. And then we'll, um, after that, we'll move on to something else. Hold that up, Brother Pastor. For the... Amen. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts, questions? No, no, no. What was that in, in Ephesians again, Sister um, Angie, that you had said um, about the jesting? Uh, Galatians. Galatians, Ephesians 5. Mm -hmm. Okay. And see, again, look at, look at the beginning of Ephesians 5. And they're talking about all these different sins right here. But anyway, that's not where I was. Okay, Ephesians well, 5. Then go back into Ephesians 4 and 23. Uh-oh. Okay. okay. Putting on the new man. You put him on, you got to keep him on. Mm. Okay. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on a new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying... Speaking every man truth with, with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Mm -hmm. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place, need, and that's an important one, mm -hmm. neither give place to the devil. Mm -hmm. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the things which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Right. And see, that's what we were talking about, Amen. corrupt communication. Whether it's joking or, or whatever it may be, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. But that which is good to the use of edifying... It's behind you. I got it. Thank mm -hmm. you of edifying that it may minister grace into the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed, sealed unto, unto the, the day, day of, redemption. of redemption. Amen. I like that, bat, that bottom part too. See, I didn't know that unforgiveness was sinful. And even unforgiveness is sinful. See, yes, a lot of things didn't know. Sinful. If you don't forgive, well, how do you expect God to forgive you? Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about that. Amen. Forgiving one another. When we're yeah. talking about the light shining and stuff like that, Pastor. Mm -hmm. It says in, in Matthew five sixteen, it says, "Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works mm -hmm. and glorify, glorify your, your Father, Father which is in heaven. heaven." And if they don't see your good works, mm -hmm. what is going to draw them to? To seek him. Exactly. Certainly not you if you're if you're yeah, trying to be a part, you know, one of them. You know, like I, I told 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 one of my, my coworkers, I said, you know, ma'am, because he said, you know, you're trying to change me. Yes, he wants to think and I said, I'm what he says, I'm worried about you trying to change me. 
I said, you shouldn't be worried about what's trying to change you or who's trying to change you. Worry about who's trying to or what's trying to stop you from changing. Mm -hmm. That's what you should be worried about. But anyway, exactly. That's a that was good right there. Mm, Or look at uh, Ephesians five eleven before we go. Ephesians five eleven. It says. And have no fellowship with the un- unfruitful works of darkness, but rather remove, reprove them. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we get caught up with everybody else's But see, now we're on 12. Uh-oh. It, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Mm-hmm. See how we're talking about the secrecy of, of sin? Be careful. Amen. Amen. Walk in the light. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right, we're going to take up an offering. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody, and thank you for coming to church with us tonight. We appreciate your um, coming, and y'all continue to con- continue to pray with and for a house of faith that we will be what God wants us to be in these last and evil days. God bless you. Love you all. Praise the Lord. Y'all know I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> You know I love you, San Diego. <laughs> All right, let me go for Pastor Ron. Tell me I, I need to quit. All right, uh, Erica, oh. Auntie loves you. See you in less than 10 days, hopefully. Peace. God bless you, Elder. Oh, so I guess this love, too, is for you, too, Pastor, from mm-hmm. Elder McClendon. Hey, praise, <laughs> the Lord, Elder. praise the Lord, Elder. God brother. bless you.